I'll probably get done for copyright for this. <laughs> uh, okay, Unit 7. Let there be love. And Unit 7 has got some of the most useful things in the book. It's got the verb to get and lots of expressions with get. Uh, it's got something about exaggeration. When do we say, I've told you a million times, don't exaggerate. And understatement, that seems to be a little bit of a problem. But the first thing we're going to look at is modal verbs and verbs related to modal verbs. And I want to point you in the direction of the BBC learning English. Now, this level is intermediate level, a little bit below your level, okay? but it starts off with modals of deduction and speculation. Okay, what's that sound? Yeah, it might be, it could be, it must be, and those kind of things, okay? So that's on the BBC Learning English uh, website, which is bbc.co.uk slash learning English slash course slash intermediate slash unit dash six slash session dash two slash activity dash three or just look at the top here, or just Google BBC Learning English modals. <laughs> and if you do, you'll also see this one, which is an upper intermediate one, which is when we are using modals to talk about things that have already happened. Modals in the past, okay? Um, and you'll, I'm not putting my self in this video because uh, you've got Dan from the BBC and he's younger and more handsome, but a bit more rubbish. At uh, explaining grammar than I am. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get on with the unit. So, when the power of love overcomes the the love of power, the world will know peace. Jimi Hendrix said that shortly before he died at a very young age. Um, yeah, the power of love. Love should be stronger than the love of power. The people love being in positions of power, and I think that's a lovely sentiment. Okay. Um, Look at the photo. What do you think has happened? Do you think it's still romantic for men to ask this question as a surprise or is it old fashioned? Yeah. Will you marry me? What are they going to do? Fly over in a helicopter? I hope he knows where the high tide reaches to. Oh, I am an old cynic, aren't I? Uh, although not as cynical as one of my students in the past. Um, we were reading a story about an I a man from Ireland and his girlfriend loved those kinder surprise eggs. So he wrote to the factory and said, uh, could you please put an engagement ring in one of those little yellow yolks in the middle? And then I can give the Kinder Egg to my girlfriend and she'll think it's the best thing in the world. It's a you know, way to make a marriage proposal. And they agreed. So he went over to, I think it was Belgium, actually. He went to the factory anyway, and um, they did it all this for him. And he gave the egg to his girlfriend, you know, ooh, super romantic. And one of my students said, why didn't he just cut the egg open and put the ring inside himself and then repackage it? Which I suppose you can do. Anyway, they say romance is dead. Uh, the quote, uh, I just explained it, is the world close to achieving this? I think if we look at some leaders around the world, we might, and also actually some business people, we might actually find that uh, we're as far away from this or even further than we were in Jimi Hendrix's day in the late 60s. Okay, right. Is it possible to love someone and want to have power over them? I'll tell you the answer now. No, it isn't. And if anybody wants power over you, claiming they love you, go and find somebody else. Okay, that's my tip for the day. Right, there is a video instruction that you can watch. That's on the website. Um, I see some of you have been practicing. There's also arguing your case in writing, which we can use a little bit also for the speaking exam, okay? So modals and related verbs coming up in just, well, in the next video. So it depends when you watch it. I was gonna say just a couple of minutes. You might wait until tomorrow. Oh, I am chatty in this one, aren't I? It must be all that mention of love. Okay, right, let's finish that one now and we'll learn something about modal verbs.